skin, Big Bandage. Hello, Perfect Beauties. My name is Daisy, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the different forms of vitamin C. A lot of companies and brands make a lot of different vitamin C serums and they can range anywhere from like 15 to like maybe $300 and there's so many different types out there and what do you know just because a vitamin C serum has a label of vitamin C on the outside it doesn't mean that it actually either contains vitamin C or is the most effective form of vitamin C or if it even has any vitamin C left in there or if it can absorb into your skin. A lot of vitamin C serums out there claim they have vitamin C, and it is a derivative of vitamin C, but sometimes it doesn't absorb into the skin. Um, sometimes it is a long gone, meaning that the vitamin C was very effective when the product was manufactured, but because it's been sitting in warehouses and in retail stores, it can be like, <laughs> you know, it cannot be as effective anymore, and so you basically are getting just pure serum without the vitamin C in it. So let's talk about the different forms of vitamin C there are out there. So l acid is the vitamin C in its purest form, and that's what we use in the banished oil. Um, it is the best form of vitamin C because it's able to absorb into the skin cells. So again, when you have vitamin C, you wanna make sure that it not only is effective and it hasn't oxidized, but it can also absorb into your skin. This unstable, water-soluble antioxidant seems to be the key to benefiting from the nutrients skin rejuvenating powers. Now, l acid is very hard to stabilize and it becomes less effective when exposed to sun and air. So the best way to stabilize uh, vitamin C is through ferulic acid. And there have been numerous studies proving that ferulic acid has been able to help stabilize vitamin C. And what ferulic acid is, and I'll have a video um, here linking to the benefits of ferulic acid. Ferulic acid is from the plant cell walls and it's really a great way to make sure that the vitamin C won't oxidize. Also important to azorbic acid effectiveness is its pH level. The lower the pH, the more stable, permeable, and therefore more effective it is. Also the lower the pH, the clearer the formulation is. So if you have like a yellow formulation or, or if the uh, serum looks yellow, it means it is at a higher pH. So basically when something is low pH, that means it is very acidic and something that's acidic can irritate the skin. So the issue with a vitamin C serum is if it's gonna work, it might irritate the skin because it has to be at a low pH to absorb into the skin and to affect the skin at a cellular level. The Banish oil is made from pure l acid and we source this l acid from a vendor in New York and we've had opportunities to work with manufacturers and vendors um, from all over the country, but even though their supply is like three times more expensive, than other vendors of l acid. We've had really great success working with them and we just continue to work with them because it's able to dissolve really well in our formula. So we have l acid here and we also have ferulic acid, which helps stabilize the vitamin C. So again, the issue with vitamin C is that when you expose it constantly to light and air, it's no longer gonna be as effective as it once was. It's not bad <laughs> if it's no longer effective, effective but it's just not good. And this is a fresh batch of um, our vitamin C serum, which is our banish oil. And you can see it's completely clear. And I have done um, Instagram Lives, Facebook Lives, where I have opened um, a year old um, vitamin C serum from Banish. And we know it's a year old because it comes from the um, different packaging than we have it now, and it becomes a clear yellow. So you, so you know that our vitamin C is pure and it does degrade over time. This is why we make all of our products fresh. We make these fresh every day from Monday to Saturday, so that way you get a fresh batch and you don't get old vitamin C serum. Again, a lot of companies and manufacturers, when they make products, they do a run of a million or half a million of these products. And a lot of these manufacturers, they also relabel products. So a vitamin C serum um, company will use a derivative of vitamin C, not pure l acid, because l acid is gonna degrade. So they'll use one that's not as effective, and they'll also color this product um, orange or like a light color, so that way you don't know if it's oxidized or not. 
So they'll make it, they won't label any of the products, but then other companies, for example, vendors on Amazon and stuff, will relabel the products and sell it under their own brand. But it's essentially all the same formulations when you buy from those like private label manufacturers. For us, we make all of our vitamin C serum fresh Monday through Saturday in Pasadena, California, and we have a really secret process of how we do it, which is why it is so effective. And I would say from all of our products, our Banish Oil is the cult favorite. Like this is the product that people purchase over and over and over again. Plus, if you put it with the Banisher, it just absorbs into the skin and really works its magic. Like your skin will just look so much brighter and your skin just looks like it's, it's like your face looks like it comes out from the heavens of the clouds. Like it looks like, um, um, from Touched by an Angel, Jane Seymour, your skin really looks that bright. Like, it's really amazing. So another form of vitamin C is Azorbal Palmitate. And that is a vitamin C ester, which means that it has been esterified to a fatty acid. It is fat-soluble as opposed to water-soluble azorbic acid, so which may hinder the ability to penetrate the skin. So again, we want to make sure that whatever form of vitamin C we use, it can penetrate the skin. Also, azorbyl palmitate produces different short-term and long-term effects compared with azorbic acid. Sodium azorbyl phosphate is known to promote collagen formation and its ability to be stabilized for at least 24 months if it is stored in original sealed containers at 25 degrees Celsius. It is also being lauded as an effective acne fighter. However, it is still a new derivative, so there is not a great deal of research comparing it to azorbic acid. A lot of brands will use um, azorbyl palmitate and sodium azorbyl phosphate. These are the popular forms of vitamin C that are used by a lot of brands and companies because the vitamin C will last longer. The next is magnesium azorbyl phosphate. This is similar to azorbic acid in that it is water soluble. It also has what azorbic acid lacks. So magnesium azorbyl phosphate has a more gentle effect on the skin because azorbic acid can be irritating and it's more stable than azorbic acid. In one study, researchers discovered that it was statistically more effective than azorbyl tetraisopalmitoid in free radical reduction. However, it is not as effective in free radical reduction compared to azorbic acid. So there's another ingredient called azorbyl tetraisopalmitoid which is a vitamin C um, derivative. It has been shown to have really, really great results, um, but however, it can be a poor performer when penetrating the skin walls. So a lot of these ingredients and derivatives of vitamin C actually perform really well. However, it doesn't really penetrate the skin, which is kind of like, it kind of sucks because it can perform really well, but if it can't really penetrate your skin, then it doesn't really do anything to your skin. So azorbic acid, even though it is more irritating to the skin, it actually can penetrate the skin better than any kind of other um, vitamin C out there. So when you're shopping for a good vitamin C serum, make sure you know what kind of vitamin C um, is going into it, whether it's sodium phosphate, azorbyl palmitate, um, or L-azorbic acid. And make sure also that um, the vitamin C serum comes out clear in the beginning, so that way you know you're getting a fresh batch and it is not being colored or it is not oxidized because when it's oxidized, it's just not as effective in the skin. And I'll do another video talking about exactly what vitamin C is and how it helps with acne scars. But basically, vitamin C is a really, really great agent in lightening and brightening and further promoting the production of collagen and elastin in the skin. So I thank you all so much for watching. I hope this helps you um, when researching for vitamin C serums. And we will be giving away a um, free banish oil to someone who comments below. All the rules will be in the description box. But basically comment on what you wanna see for next week's video. And until next time, my name is Daisy and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.